Hello and welcome to Thaik. I am Ahmad Adnan and in this video we are going to discuss about a different thing which I recently got to know about that is column missing in Power BI. That's a strange thing, right? We'll discuss that in this video. If you are new to this channel or if you haven't subscribed yet, just click on the subscribe button and also press the bell icon to get the latest notifications. Now let's get started. So recently I was working on a CSV file which is actually the data logs from the Power BI service activity logs and about the workspace list and report list. So when I start to work on the workspace and download the details from using the Power BI REST APIs and then I start to build up the report and suddenly what happens is when I click on refresh it was refreshing fine as usual. So after a couple of days or a few months what happens is it has thrown an error like this if you see the error message here workspace list that is the table name which i have the column workbooks of the table wasn't found so that's the strange thing when i look into the list of columns available here for me it has only five columns here so i thought to figure out what's the reason behind that so i need to go into transform data for that and then when I look into this transformation whatever I did here as a step by step process like this is the source and then promoted headers and change type and then remove other columns so I got a hint about I removed some columns here when I click on change type here and just go to this last step oh I can see there is a column here workbooks so what I thought is okay it means I don't have the workbooks now as a separate column in the activity log maybe Microsoft had removed that. So I try to reconnect the same file again right so when I did that like the same process source and then get data from text or CSV and then I connected to the same file which is available here Power BI logs and if I connect to this one. and then click OK so this is the new one right so if I look into that here at the end the workbook is already there so I'm just struck about what's the reason behind that so I try to figure out one by one and then I realize that when I refresh this it gives me this error in Power BI in Power Query also so I go, go back to the previous step here like promoted headers and then I find out that it doesn't contain this here but it's throwing an error over there. The reason is because there is an additional column has been added in between to these available columns. So the tenant ID was not there earlier and the new column has been added into that. So even though the new column is added into that and I am not at all using this workbook column inside to that it is throwing an error the reason is because actually after promotion thing headers until then state it is fine and in the change type it is throwing an error the reason is because if I go to this advanced editor then here the change type right this is the step so if I go to this step what are the things it has done then it has change the type of this column workbook right so that is why it is searching for that column either I can remove this step to work smoothly on or else I need to do so there is one more way right so what you need to do here is actually you need to go to advanced editor and if you notice here one point here it's actually taking this from this location and delimiter is comma separated and the column it is fixing it to 15 when you import this file into Power BI at that time how many columns with the comma separated it just detect this as 15 so that is the reason it has taken only 15 now as the new column has been added inside to that the total number of columns we have is 16 so that is the reason the last column it ignores when imports into Power BI right so that's now we are not able to see that now if I change this to 16 and then if I go back again and click on done 
and click on change type and now i can see the tenant id as a new column and also if i go to the right side i can see the workbook also and also i don't have any errors now right so in order to avoid this also in future maybe we are not aware of if we are not aware of the thing like there may be additional columns are there or deletion of the columns are there so for that basically you need to click on advanced editor you need to keep a buffer of it like for an example if i put it to 20 here and click on done then what happens actually is if i go back to promoted headers if i just go to the right side then after the available columns whatever we have comma separated it creates other blank columns here if there is an additional column involved inside to that then we may not have any issues like this because this will fill automatically up to this 5 20 columns if it is goes beyond 20 columns then you are going to have the same error message now let's try deleting one more column so i have this tenant id in capacity id i'm going to delete these two also from excel and save now let's go to power bi and refresh here and if i until this stage it is clear and in the change type it's throwing an error because the capacity id i have removed here also the tenant id is also not there and capacity id is also not there so now it is throwing an error of capacity id is not there because we have removed that column and it is not showing the error of tenant id is because even though it has added but it is not included in the change type so you can either remove this step to make these things works and then after that you can set up the column type manually by yourself so these are the two ways which you can handle if there is a column missing in power bi if there is an addition of the column then also you have the problem if there is a deletion of the column then also you have that problem so i have given the two solution for that if in additional in the csv file then you need to increase the column and if it is a deletion then you need to delete the step of change data type and then you have to change the data type manually after that if you like this video just click on the big thumbs up button if you are new to this channel or if you haven't subscribed yet just click on the subscribe button and also press the bell icon to get the latest notifications but make sure you turn on the notification on your devices share it with your friends and colleagues if you have any queries and feedback just post it on the comment section below thanks for watching keep learning see you in the next video